They're in the infantry blue, NC State in the home white uniforms. It'll be one of the transfers, Mohamed Diaro tips it up and wins the mistimed tips. And there's Burns with a recycle offensively, going to work. In that first possession, it looked like they were trying to trap from the baseline. Here's the starting five for the Citadel. They added quite a bit of size in Winston Hill and Quentin Melora Brown. A couple of transfers. Melora Brown coming from Vanderbilt. And a backdoor cut and a layup for Durr. It is three transfers along with Morcell and Burns. Yeah, he's got that free throw line jumper in his bag. And they're going to have to find a way to contain him. If they let him get going, it's going to be a rough night for him. Oh, that baseline spin move is too good. Burns has all six early for the Wolfpack. Durr able to drive around Morcell all the way to the basket. No help defense. That you, you know, unless you're just an elite offensive player, that you don't want to try and take him one on one too much. Top shot, Morcell way off. And an offensive rebound. As NC State fans get acquainted with Mohamed Diora, that's something he can bring to this team. Late in the shot clock, and a steal from Horn. O'Connell with a fast break bucket, his first in an NC State uniform. Knew that there were a lot of shots to be had, and a lot of points that needed to be replacing, and he'd like to do some of it. Yeah, they're going to need some guys to fill that void, uh, especially taking guys off the bounce. That's one of the things that I'm interested in seeing is that one of those that, you know, I'm, I'm really interested in seeing, especially in their exhibition. Got some good minutes as a freshman, you know, talking with Coach. Open three. And one goes down. Paint touch, kick it out. O'Connell was able to save us on that. It was, it was a rough little stretch, but, you know, we broke the ice now. I don't think anybody's made more threes in this building than you as Durr makes the turnaround. Kind of backs them down a little bit and creates space with a fadeaway. Really good player. I like his game. Burns. Boy, he is such a unique player. Morcell. Tough drive. Lost it on the way up. Wanted a foul. Didn't get it. Smith. Tough finish and one. One of the first times we've been able to see the Citadel get out in transition. O'Connell earns the wolf back an extra possession. Taylor's unselfish. Horn a spot up three. And that's all O'Connell right there. That's really? like his game. He's not going to make a lot of mistakes. I think that's one of the things that they need. A good floor general and a great pass from DJ Steele at the top. Yeah. NC State starting to get out in transition and create some havoc. Three ball, baked in. Keenan Davis, the freshman. Well, it counts for a little more in the memory bank. For sure. I hate to tell you I don't remember my first one. <laughs> but it also is where he needs to be smart. He needs to understand how important he is to the team and try not to get your second foul in the first half. O'Connell, nice find to Horn. I'm sure he has a big fan section today. Yeah, the homecoming, a long time coming. And... Big block by Dennis Parker. My goodness. Smith on the pull up. Nice shot. I think that's where Coach Keats is. If we went back to that. Middle Brooks, the Clemson transfer, hands off. Parker, spin move. Showing out on both ends. Oh, a cold three. Boy, Madison Durr has played well so far tonight. Great pass. And that's what O'Connell can bring. And that's one of the easier baskets DJ Burns has had tonight. You're not going to have numbers going back the other way, and that's something NC State likes to do. Well, they break the pressure, a little miscommunication. Oh, and it falls in. Roberts. Love the pick on the ball. O'Connell hoist up a three. If he can 
Yeah, he's a, not a bad free throw shooter, right? Got good touch, catch and shoot. O'Connell feeling it. And the double figures with 11. Morgan, tough pull up. Melora Brown at the horn, got it to go. I've always said the more volume you have, the percentages drop down a little bit. But he's an elite shooter, and he's going to keep shooting the ball. As is Diara. He had missed a couple. Hill dared him to shoot it. Parker has his pocket picked by Morgan. Melora Brown high arc game three. Rainmaker. One of the things that the Citadel's doing a little bit more is they're being a little bit more aggressive defensively, defensively and it's resulting in them being able to push and get some good shots on the offensive end. O'Connell. Boy, nice pass inside. Really good patience, and I think O'Connell could have taken the shot, but he passed up a good one. Coached at NC State, where Coach Conroy was his assistant here. Middle Brooks going at Melora Brown. Nice move. Give him two more. And I think that's one of the things we talked about. The Citadel has been just very much more aggressive on the defensive end, and they're creating some of those turnovers, and it's resulting in good buckets on the other end, like this. The coach wants to see. He wants to see him play, you know, against ACC schools and really kind of find out what they're about. Great ball movement from NC State. Burns to Horn to O'Connell. O'Connell now leading the way with 14 points. Good to see Diara back in the game for NC State as Hill. Yeah, he'll look to get going there. As with that basket, he is two of 10. Diara, oh! His second triple. There is the double double on the feed from DJ Burns. Playing with those three fouls. Double comes. Diara again. Not to be. There's Marcel. His first basket. He's the eighth player for NC State to score tonight. Again, he was the leading scorer in their exhibition. And again, it might be a different leading scorer every night. Tough move by Smith. That was pretty on the teardrop. Well, and obviously, I, I'm seeing him in practice, he just plays so hard. He does everything the right way. And again, I think because this guy right here is going to get so much attention. Oh! Not the three on one end, but he gets the big block. Yara kept it alive, but maybe a chance two on one. Roberts with an easy finish. Looking to drop a dime there to Breon Pass. Instead, it's a turnover. Bulldogs trying to make something happen. It's Christian Moore in transition. That's a great job by E.J. Smith. Durr had it taken away. Taylor, the young man from Indianapolis. That's really oh, look pass by Moore inside the hill for two. And that's really good movement. They just kept moving the ball, attacking. NC State debut. He now has eight points. It's a big transition for him. Remember, he's from Indy. And Hill throws down the flush. He's from Indy and played at Butler. Coming to NC State, this is the furthest that he's ever been from home. It's definitely adjustment. It's adjustment for all these kids. How much of an adjustment was it for you? Two for 12. He struggled from the field, but I tell you what, he's got the six points. He also has six rebounds and four assists. He's had the ball in his hands a lot. He's done a lot. Big to big, post to post. You bet. Not, every, not very often you see a... Coach Conroy playing some of his freshmen here down the stretch. Morsell, that's what he can do in transition. Tough move by Moore. How did he get that over the front of the rim? Nicely done. Shot clock off. Nice pass. Carpio with the flush on the dish by Levi Burkholz. So the Bulldogs end it on a high note.
Thomas will dribble it out. And NC State 1 and 0 oh in this new year as they take it 72 to 59.